Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? Welcome to my Fallout 76 Let's Talk video. So, in today's video, we're gonna talk do you really think that Bethesda completely, permanently removes the items from the item shop? Do you? Alright, so uh, my opinion here. Uh, no. <laughs> they are not removing items permanently. Well, some of them. Uh, but I personally think they will come back. Whatever outfit was given to us will come back. And I have uh, my reasons, which I'm going to explain right now because I've been doing Atom Shop videos covering the Atom Shop pretty much on a daily basis for the past two, like three or four months now. Now, uh, this is one of the old posts. Uh, I believe this is the April one. Yeah, so check this out. Check this out. Items, uh, item sales and removals. A number of existing items are going to leave the Atom Shop throughout this week and will become unavailable for purchase. <laughs> unavailable I love it well to my understanding that means that's it they're gone like literally they they're in, are never supposed to come back well let's take a look <clears throat> I actually covered this as well back in April <laughs> so Western Duster ladies and gentlemen it was supposedly supposed to leave and uh, there was a good discount 30% 350 now they returned it to us this month in June as we can see voila Western Duster has returned <laughs> in a bundle though so what I think is that the items that are but not only bundles some items have returned without bundles I'm gonna get to that part so <clears throat> so there we go we already have one proof that uh, items are not leaving and you know it's not nice to state that unavailable for purchase just tell us uh, like hey guys this item will not be around in the atom shop for the next couple of months but it will come back eventually but you still have an, an option to buy it with a discount right now something like that I mean don't state that it will never come back because it's a wrong statement it's here again <laughs> all right so what else do we have here uh, there are actually a lot of examples such as uh, Walt Tech uh, bomber jacket now uh, I don't remember when it wasn't that really super long time ago actually give me a second all right so uh, the bomber jacket right I uh, just googled it uh, over here you can see one of the videos uh, this is the video I covered 2nd April as you can see and here we've got the bumper jacket again. Here's the actual video. Look how I was surprised. <laughs> so I'm definitely not gonna get it. <laughs> Actually, my surprise was bundle. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's back in June again, <laughs> and it was delivered to us back uh, in the bundle. So let's see what else we got here. Uh, I actually prepared a couple of them, but I uh, accidentally trashed that document. Camouflage suit. Wow. Camouflage. I, I I don't even know how many times I've covered this camouflage thing, especially with bundles. It's always there. It freaking never leaves. And 500 atoms <laughs> uh, was the deal back then. 50% discount, man. 50. And yeah, I was complaining as well about the discounts that they're giving us. Look at these discounts. These are really nice. Uh, recently, for the past week, they were giving like 10%, 20%, sometimes no percent at all. Uh, then we've got uh, the Nuka Girl. I, fortunately, I was not able to find such posts. I think they were removed or something. Uh, but back in March, which I also covered, uh, the Nuka girl rocket suit was supposedly supposed to go But no, it did not go. So there was a discount instead of a thousand two hundred atoms yeah, They were selling it to us for 840 atoms, right, but there we go the Nuka girl is back and uh, 
Uh, hold on, let me look up the uh, last video. I don't remember what was this discount, if there was a discount. Let's go back. All right, so here's the video, the rocket suit, also June 11th. So watch Thank my you. reaction. Not interested in that. Rocket suit. Wait, I thought this left the. the I thought this left. What? The Nuka Girl uh, rocket suit, a hundred percent left. I remember it was uh, up on the big sale, and not just a discount, but it was up on the big sale. So, and watch this. <laughs> Time limited in a thousand two hundred atoms. Where did the discount go? <laughs> Where did it go? What happened to it? I mean, over here you're giving us a discount, and then bam, you're not giving a discount at all. So, <clears throat> you know, uh, there's a whole bunch of these like the small details that actually, thanks to you guys, I like, I, I kind of like uh, went into more details about it because, and actually, everything started from this outfit here because of one of the comments uh, left by. Uh, ah, there we go. Bennett Rad. So we can see that we communicated, and yeah. So basically, it is sort of dumb to like state that it's leaving, but then it's not leaving, and also removing. Uh, oh wait, here's the official post. Lol, there's the link. I was not able to find it. I was. Huh? It's gone. Ah uh, no, here we go. Official post. Uh. Leave. There we go. Once each item sells has ended, that item will then leave the atom shop. <laughs> you will still be able to use them after they leave the atom. What? If you already own these items, don't worry. You will still be able to use them after they leave the atom shop. So this pretty much states to me that if you didn't buy it, I'm sorry, but you're not supposed to. You will not be able to ever buy it again so and the funny thing is that the um, the actual outfit I mean it's cool that they return it it's really nice for people who didn't play and actually like the outfit but my deal here is that they shouldn't state that it's leaving just to increase the sales so I haven't seen like for example Vault 76 Tucker Cap popping up again maybe it wasn't selling good or because the price is low. I mean, look at that, 90% off because nobody would buy a cap for 500 atoms. So I did actually buy it because I like collecting caps and 50 is a reasonable price for a cap. So as I was saying, my concern isn't that um, they're returning the atoms. My concern is that they're stating false information, which is not good. So that is not cool. So. Any, I, I received a whole bunch of other comments about the, um, the pledge mask or whatever. I can't, I can't <laughs> pledge mask, man. I, I sometimes mispronounce words. I do apologize for that. I'm from Ukraine, so <laughs> have that in mind. Don't judge me hard. So eventually, I think that any item that was on the atom shop will always return to the atom shop, and I have. Uh, a reason to think why that is the case. Well, first of all, if, I, if my memory doesn't, <laughs> you know, falls me or turns down on me, uh, we're not going to be paying for any DLCs, right? That's what they told us, and I remember watching some YouTube videos. I don't even remember the reason why that is, that we don't need to pay for any DLCs that have been uh, uh, that are going to be made for us, right? But don't forget that the company needs to make a profit. Right, and their profit right now is the atom shop. Now, uh, removing items permanently isn't a good idea. <laughs> well, because at some point, essentially, you will run out of ideas on what sort of uh, items to bring on board. Let's say you're doing this business for five, ten years, you've already done everything possible. So, essentially, you still bring those items back, right? Right. Plus, uh, because, I mean, on a company perspective, right, it's about the profits as well. So I have no problem on paying uh, and buying atoms. I actually do buy atoms. I think I already spent over 200 euros on the atom shop itself th since beta, not counting the game that I purchased, right?
So around 300, let's just say the rough number 300 I already gave to Bethesda. Not counting the Creation Club as well. I mean, I have no problem supporting a company. Uh, well, I don't, it's not a support, it's not sort of a making a donation. I'm just buying the content and it sort of does support the company, right? Because the company also needs to pay bills, they need to pay salaries, they need to hire people to work in the game, especially if it's an online game, right? Not, uh, not like something single player, but an online game. And especially Fallout 76 that had a really, 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 really messed up start. And, well, I have a, a total different story about the startup. Uh, I thought it was going to be way worse, but it wasn't as worse as I predicted to be, but it was still bad. So maybe that's why, uh, maybe my mindset, because I prepared myself that the game is going to be pure, total crash, <laughs> trash, uh, actually made me think that, uh, like, when it came out it was bad, but not as bad as I thought, you know. So, as I was saying, uh, my concern is that they shouldn't do this, and it's wrong. I mean, personally, about uh, Atom Shops, I will not be surprised if we'll receive some sort of um, monthly memberships as well. Like in ESO, they have this ESO Plus, which gives, uh, if you're paying monthly or per six months or per year, and you get advantages such as like 10% XP, uh, some credits, crowns uh, every month or every six month or every one year, depending on the package you buy. So I will not be surprised if they'll have something similar here in Fallout 76. Uh, as long as they keep it no advantage to other players. In terms of gaining additional that XP, it doesn't really play a big difference here because level actually doesn't matter. Uh, your level matters only if you're under level 50. As soon as you bypass that, that's it. If you have the perk car cards, you're all set. Using the, uh, the calculator, you can create your uh, build up front and that calculator would tell you which perk cards to claim every time you level up and when you should not to take a perk card because you have your build and you need to wait a little bit, right? So using the calculator you can like be a level 70 and you already have everything that you need and that's it. Then what matters is the gear and the guns you have, that's it with the uh, legendary effects and such else. Level doesn't matter here so I wouldn't say giving like 10% boost uh, would be a pay to win. Like for example, remember that uh, YouTube craziness when the repair kits were announced. Like, oh, they said it's pay to win. <laughs> well, honestly, I have repair kits. I tried it once just to show how it works and that's it. <laughs> I never use them. Even though by killing the queen you get even better repair kits than you can buy in the atom shop, right? <laughs> I haven't used them a single time. Uh, plus, 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 where I was getting at with those repair kits, I mean, watch this, if that uh, membership will come, uh, the negative train with pay to win will come with it. Like, I'm being positive, I like positivity, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong here, I'm not judging anybody, because uh, there are games we love and there are games we hate, right? Like, for example, I really don't like, uh, what was that, Fortnite, I don't like it, and just it's just not mine but I don't go jumping from one stream to another stream and say oh this is a bad game why are you playing it man or watching videos for it and say oh ho, 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 it's a bad game why would I do that I don't like that game I don't want to I don't want to have nothing in common with that game that's it simple I just put it aside and move on with something that I love right well Fallout 76 turned out to be the game that I actually enjoyed because looking back in the history, I would give up on games uh, easy. <laughs> but this one, I don't know what keeps me going. Uh, honestly, I still, I still want to make something like my impression since beta, and like about Fallout 76, and I can't. I can't find the correct words. I can't explain why I actually enjoy the game so much. I mean, the only break that I actually took from this game was uh, maybe like a week, because uh, I just got really, really mad at. Uh, the bug that would always kick you out, always, always, or the number one, I actually remembered why I stopped, I was waiting for them to fix that thing, when you die, you were not able to resurrect, because no icons on the map would appear, and that really just, really made me annoyed, and that's when I just paused the game for a while, but I couldn't resist, and I came back, because, I mean, first of all, uh, it's a hard thing, a hard topic, so, let's get that, so, the atom shop, I mean, there's definitely going to be way more things and plus with today's update we can finally 
uh, I think if I read the patch notes correctly, uh, we can use the under armor as well. So <laughs> in the next battle royale, I would not be running naked. <laughs> well, you know, that Vault 51 jumpsuit or whatever it's called, right? It's really like, uh, it shows you clearly on the map. So that's why I used to drop it all the time. So I think there are some really good changes and the game does deliver and I hope Bethesda learned its lesson because they did admit that uh, they knew that they uh, <laughs> releasing a broken game. I mean knowing Bethesda I was not surprised so don't get me wrong here. Uh, and that's not the topic anyway. So about the item shop. This is what I just wanted to point out and I believe if you've missed an item don't worry uh, you will definitely definitely will have a chance to get it back and I think what another thing that triggers me here is that um, the conversion rate of a of an item so for example Western Duster probably sold good <laughs> like a lot of people actually spend a lot of atoms on it that's why they returned it I didn't see Wall 76 cap popping again uh, the sniper outfit I believe was supposed to leave like uh, Fallout 76 sniper outfit. Bang. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is one of my videos right here with the question marks. Uh, the question why I place question marks is because I was surprised that it's back. It's May 26th. And I believe I've covered it elsewhere. I believe on this video right here, March 27th limited because it. it triggers ah there we go on the 25th so I was pretty sure that this outfit was supposed to leave and uh, well I didn't have time to go into more details but I might be wrong because at first when uh, they started giving those limited I thought that it's leaving that's never gonna come back well I was wrong it's just limited uh, time for the discount but the item still remains so you can still get it uh, and probably they will keep putting discounts 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 and you know what? You know what would really be nice? If, for example, you say that it's leaving the atom shop, give a small hopes for us that it will come back in some time. And maybe next time, please do actually give a discount and not a full price when previously you gave it for 840. So. I really want to know your thoughts here. Let's have a discussion in the comments down below. I mean, you know me, I always get back to your comments and I value your ideas, your thoughts. What do you think? Are these skins, items, outfits will ever come back or not? I believe, well, you hear my point of view. Yes, they will come back because Atom Shop is their only way of making a profit. And as I said, I will not be surprised if they will turn on some sort of monthly membership options, which will allow players to get some bonuses, maybe some extra stash <laughs> limit, you know, because as far as I know, they need to pay more money for uh, servers or whatever, those who host things, and only then they can increase the stash, right? And without profit, they cannot do that. But if people will start paying them on a monthly basis, then probably they can. <laughs> well, these are just my ideas. I don't data mine, and uh, this is just what I think might happen. I might be wrong, so don't get me wrong. But according to the Atom Shops, if they will, the skins will return. I'm pretty sure they will. Like I'm like 99.99% sure that they will return in whatever form, including bundles, including the way Red Rocket Chica came back. You know. So that's 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 pretty much my point. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, you know, drill. Don't forget to leave that like, leave your comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. So thank you for watching, and you have a good morning, day, and night. By the way, if you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. And I'll see you in the next video. Like, <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Uh, I, I thought I saw everything. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> uh.